What's going on, Guap Texas? I'm back with another video. And in this video, as you can see from the title and the thumbnail, yes, aim assist is literally soft aim. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on. You know what I'm saying? Now y'all might get tired of that, but that's definitely what it is, you know. And especially with these back aim assist settings that I'm about to give y'all in this video. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the full video because I will be showing you guys how to adjust it and all the other type of good stuff. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the full video. And also hit the subscribe button, turn on that post notification bell icon so you don't miss any new uploads to the channel. And also smash that like button. Let's get into the video. All right, before we get into the actual bats aim assist settings that I was using in this video, I do want to recommend something to everybody real quick. So if you guys haven't been using a control freak, I recommend you guys get some. It will be a good investment. Trust me. I've been using them for like five months now and they've been helping me with my tracking and you know just my overall accuracy of a person you know what i'm saying so i don't use it for my movement i use it just strictly for the aim and i guarantee you it has been helping me you know what i'm saying so if you don't use them by now you do not know what you're missing they will be a good investment and i recommend everybody to go to a local game stop amazon wherever you can get them from buy them and trust me they will work i'm not getting paid to say that or none of that it's just me talking trying to help y'all you feel me so do recommend some control freaks whatever you know pre precision rings whatever those things call but me i use the regular control freak hook it up to my analog and we good to go but Without further ado, let's go on and get it to these settings. All right, so I gave y'all my TD V5 and my rotational aim assist settings already. Those were used in this video right here, but I will not be adding them to this video, but they will be in the description below if you guys want to check them out. This video is going to be strictly about the best aim assist. So what I did in order to find the best aim assist what I, was I went into a private map. Also, shout out to Wayno because I did learn this through him. So shout out to him. I ain't going to act like I learned this on my own. But I went into a private match. I turned off rotational aim assist then I turned on bats aim assist and what I did after that was I looked to the ground I turned the value of the bats aim assist to the lowest like a five or something I started at a five once you save it shoot if your feet doesn't move turn it up one by one you know what I'm saying just keep turning it up until your feet start moving and that's exactly what I did so my feet started moving at a value of 14 and that's why I left it at I didn't raise it no higher or nothing like that I just left it at a 14 and my speed was at a, I mean my time was at a 20. So it was at a 14 and a 20. Strength, 14, speed, 20. You feel what I'm saying? So that's how I found the bats aim assist in this video right here. And like I said, go into a private match. Make sure you turn off rotational aim assist first. Then turn on bats aim assist. Look at the ground, turn it to like a 10 or something or whatever. Turn it to turn the value to a 10 shoot if it doesn't uh if your feet doesn't move turn it up one by one until your feet move you feel what i'm saying did i make myself clear and that's how i found my settings so basically those were my settings in this video it was at a 14 and a 20. the strength was at a 14 the speed was at a 20. your feet might be moving in a different like it's, they might start moving different than mine so like i said start from the bottom keep going until your feet moves and then you should find the best setting for that like I said, shout out to Wayno because without him, I would never learn that at all. And that's basically it for this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.